Hi, question number seven. A garden shop sells polyanthus plants in boxes, each box containing the same number of plants. The number of plants per box which produce yellow flowers has a binomial distribution with mean 11 and variance 4.95. Part A, find the number of plants per box, four marks. Second part, I mean part B, of the first part, find the probability that a box contains exactly 12 plants which produce yellow flowers. Two marks. And for the second part, another garden shop sells polyanthus plants in boxes of 100. The shop's advertisement states that the probability of any polyanthus plant producing a pink flower is 0 0.3. Use a suitable approximation to find the probability that a box contains fewer than 35 plants which produce pink flowers. Four marks for the second part. Okay, for the first part of the question, seven first part A, we have a binomial distribution NP. We need to find N, and we know that the mean, that is EX, is equal to, uh, we are told, is 11, and the variance of X is given as 4.95. What do we make of this? We can approximate to a normal distribution and we know that uh, this is going to be equal to NP and this is NPQ. The reason I'm doing this is because this will help us to find the mean, I mean the value of N. This is basically the mean, therefore NP is equal to 11. This is NP. And then NPQ is equal to the variance which is 4.95. Remember that Q is equal to 1 minus P. Okay, so we can say that n is equal to 11 over p, and over here n is equal to 4.95 over n over pq, which is 4.95 over p into 1 minus p. We can equate these two. So n is 11 over p, therefore we have 11 over p is equal to all of that. 4.95 divided by p into 1 minus p. If you were to rearrange this, you will come up with the quadratic equation 11p squared <coughs> minus 6.05p is equal to 0. And therefore, by factorizing, we can get uh, p outside 11p inside minus 6.05 is equal to 0. And from here, we know that p is going to be equal to 6.05 divided by 11, which is basically 11 over 20. And that means that if we want to find n, n is 11 over p. That means 11 divided by 11 over 20, and basically n is equal to 20. So that's the first part A. <clears throat> For the first part B of the question, we have to find the probability that a box contains exactly 12 plants, so that means probability of x is equal to 12. So this is, as we are told, a binomial distribution, so we're going to use the binomial distribution. And therefore, that's going to be 20 uh, c, because n is 20. Alright, choose uh, 12, because this is what we're looking for, times the probability, that is p, which is 11 over 20, to the power of 12 times 9 over 20, that is q, to the power of 20 minus 12 is 8. If you were to do this in your calculator, you should be able to reach to three significant figures, one point, I mean 0 0.162, 3SF. And here we are for the part B of the question. Now then, for the second part, we are told that uh, there is another shop, and uh, for this shop, they, they sell polyanthus plants in boxes of 100, boxes of 100. And the shop's advertisement states that uh, the probability of any polyanthus plant producing a pink flower is 0 0.3. Okay, use a suitable approximation to find the probability that a box contains fewer than 35 plants which produce pink flowers. Remember that uh, probability of getting a pink flower is 0 0.3. Therefore, probability of not getting a pink flower 
is going, be, going to be 0 0.7. That's again a binomial distribution. We need to use a suitable approximation. So what we can do is we can say x uh, is normally distributed. All right, we can approximate normal distribution. Why? Because if you do uh, 100 times 0 0.3, you should be able to get 30. If you do um, NP and NPQ, this is NP100 uh, times 0 0.7 is equal to 70. And also 100 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 should be able to reach uh, 21 with this one. Now, this is... These are the indications, all right, so that, that we should be approximated to a, uh, approximate to a normal distribution uh, since NP and NQ are both greater than 5. Therefore, we approximate to a normal distribution. Now, what do we do from here? This is... 30 and this is the variance 25. Remember the NPQ is the variance. But we need to find the probability that it contains fewer than 35 plants. So we need to find, so we have to apply continuity correction. If we apply continuity correction here, we're going to get um, probability of x being less than 35, which is exactly the same as probability of z being less than 34.5, take away 30, divided by the standard deviation, and that's going to be less. So therefore we have probability of z being less than. Work all of that in your calculator, all right, and um, should be able to get uh, 0 0.98 to zero. And if you check this out, um, the z score, I mean, of this is going to be um, 0 0.9820. 0 0.9820, and that gives us 0 0.83695. That's the answer. So that should be then 0 0.83695 into 3SF 0 0.837. So this is the probability of getting fewer than 35 pink flowers for this distribution. Okay, take care.